Good morning, my crafty friends. This is Lori Girl on the Ridge. Oh, I am back with, um, I want to make a journal. And we're going to do some flips and add some pockets and stuff inside. Alrighty, how's everyone doing? So what we're going to do is first we will get some... Oh, I'll just grab a piece of paper. Piece of paper, piece of scrap paper. And in a size book like this, say we'll just do four corner flips. So it's just a corner paper. And we're just going to. Oh, I did get a little. Everything I got prior to this was huge. So now I wanted to get a little one. So I got this. It's just going to be quicker to use my scissors. <laughs> so I'm just going to make little corners. This book is going to be no sewing. So we're just going to... It's our inspiration type book. So we're just going to start making, like I said, four ends like that. <clears throat> How's everyone doing? It's Friday and we're going to get a polar vortex. It's ridiculous. <laughs> we're, I think we're supposed to miss most of the snow today and get um, lake effect tomorrow. Woohoo! <laughs> So my son called me yesterday, and I said, well, what are the kids up to? He goes, well, believe it or not, my husband, or my son has a lot of heavy equipment, so he built a big sand hill, and they've been sliding all day with their sleds. <laughs> so I said, well, that's good. But to that bath water was something. <laughs> but it gives them something to do, away from TV, kind of fun. Or the computer, not so much TV. All right, so get to the... I think my front is. Why do I have this? Oh. And I would just say, usually I leave, well, I can't say usually. Sometimes I'll have a pocket in the front page, but I'm going to go on the second page. And then you're just going to kind of put them where you want them. Let's make sure I am filming. I haven't even had my coffee yet. It's early Tuesday morning. Oh, come on. What the heck? to my glue, the polar vortex, now I got it, or the murder hornet, <clears throat> there we go, so, I'm just going to do some, um, now sometimes you can leave this up, but this would be a good idea, just for um, extra writing space to say maybe, um, YouTube video dated scene, blah, blah, blah. Something, you know, you want to look back at. And then I'll maybe just flip a couple pages and put another one down. It's just like a random thing. Now, sometimes now, I mean, this is just the easiest way to get started. I mean, sometimes you can, you can um, decorate these all ahead of time. You have them in a big basket. No, there's just, this is just one, one easy, until you know what you're doing, stop. And then that just flips up for extra writing, and then you have your tuck in there once the glue dries. And just flip a couple more pages. And if you did, if you chose to do the little book, you do the same thing. Just take a little, I'll just do one. 
just a um, a littler packet because obviously your pages are littler. You can even do a little more than that if you want. Okay, so next I would do. What? So we got a couple pockets in there. Let's do some. Say I want. I, I got this piece of paper. Let's even it out a little. I'm going to put a hinge on the top, which I'm just going to. Well, this side's prettier. I'll fold it over. And then let's see. Oh, this is kind of a white, white page. So I just put. And again, guys, I am not overthinking it. Randomly putting it, especially for this book. You can do that. This is just an inspiration book. Obviously, I was inspired to go to that page. So I'm just going with it. Just. Just go with it. And I'm going to pull out some other odd pieces of paper. So I will straighten this out. But I like that rip side. So I still have room. So I will make another hinge. If you want to, you can like taper it a little. And then maybe I'll make a little flip up there. And then when we do, we're going to do all the, what the heck is the matter with this glue? Um, when we do all this and we put all the flips and stuff in, and then we'll decorate each page. I can ever get my glue to work. This is ridiculous. I don't know what the problem is. So I'm going to put this like here. So we have a flip over, we have a flip over, flip, nothing, flip, nothing, 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 and a flip, so we'll go, say here we have nothing, so let's do, oh no, I do have a little packet there, let's do, mm. All this stuff on my desk. Let's do another. I like I like these kind of flips. Oh, I know what else you can do. And we can put a flip there. And then say we wanted. Say we got. Um, find an empty page here and I wanted to add some more another sheet of paper or something I could I would take a piece of paper what I felt like I wanted um, this I'm going to score so it's nice and sharp so say I want to score it. And if you want to put a lot more in it, you go for it. So I'm just going to score it like an inch just to get that nice crease. See, I do use my tools. <laughs> and say I want to just maybe... Really? Okay. 
and this is how you um, you build up your book. You might only have started with five pages, but you can always add extra. This is my favorite way to make a hinge. Sometimes you can add extra things, but to me, this is the strongest. And there you have, you have, you know, a, a tuck, a flip out, flip up, and then you have an extra page. So that, that's a good way to start and put as many as you want in there. I want to show you something else that I worked on. Now this I worked on, I would say it was close to um, probably three years ago. I was inspired by Miss um, Sue Olson, the innkeeper. I don't know if the video is still up. It was like three years ago. She had an altered book she was doing. So I took a book that I really liked. I gessoed it all. Well, apparently I didn't gesso it all. I left the background. And this is this is still a work in progress. I just took, I don't even remember, so many um, pages out in between so it would still close. And this is a different kind of um, inspiration book. I covered um, some of the, the words up, the pages with paper. And then um, this was with... Um, I don't know if it's supposed to be a flip or the glued in stick. It might have been the glued in stick. Just over a pitcher. And then I made one of my coffee packets so I won't forget. Um, this was a snippet. This was a tissue paper, little envelope, I think. So I'll just stick that over here. This was mm, Dreams, etc., I think. One of my favorite papers. So I just put that there. Um, what's over here? So this is kind of like what we're doing, but just in a different style book. Just different flips and stuff that I did. And I can see my style is pretty much still the same. Um, what is this? Oh, this is it. Oh, my altered envelopes changed. But cute. It's different. This I absolutely love. I remember making this. This was just a little music book that's layered. Um, it's just music paper book. Those are um, Victor, uh, Nectar Creations. And then it's just a book held by a piece of ribbon. And just some little envelope. So this is something fun to look back at, but I remember making this. I remember I love this. I must. I seen this on Pinterest, I believe. So I'm not gonna make more of them. See, that's another good. You you make a bunch of them, you put them on the shelf, and then when you um, need something to make, you go look through them. I don't know what else I put in this. Oh, I no, that's not a packet. Oh, and then I just on some of the pages. Put some more pretty paper, left some plain. Yeah, I must have glued, I think you glue like two or three together to make them thick. This, I absolutely love that paper. I just love some of this and then I haven't finished the rest. So this is another style. So if you have a book you like, just go again, YouTube it. There's so many different ways about how to take your paper out. I don't remember. Honestly, I don't remember how I did this. I know my pages are thick. So just so where it got, you know, clothes where I could add stuff to it. So that is a different um, kind of inspiration book. So, so that's what I want you guys to do now. I said, now just make your flips in um, different tucks. And then we will start, I think we will, um, I don't know if we're going to, maybe we'll work on the insides of here and start adding some color to this. Because these are pretty much done other than decorating. I mean, you just add in your pages and then envisioning, you know what, maybe we'll make a pocket somewhere here. Actually, we'll, well, I don't want to go over on my video. We will make a pocket. I'll have to get a piece of paper. It's similar to this, just gluing a piece and then just making a pocket here. 
Alrighty, guys. So I hope you play with your journal today and we'll see you soon. Bye.